how to make induced voltage more sinusoidal in uh, second one we have to think of short pitching okay by using short pitched coils also we can reduce harmonics in induced voltage or we can make induced voltage more sinusoidal okay for example this is stator okay now here if i keep a here if i keep a dash here means that basically it's a two pole machine okay this is rotor this is n pole this is s pole let me rotate in any direction okay now here in this like you know my a conductor is under the flux density maximum of n pole and a dash is going to be the flux density maximum of s pole means that if positive maximum is induced here negative maximum will be induced here now a a dash coil back to back connection coil okay so my a is going to be like this back to back connection a dash is going to be like this so a is going to be like this a dash is going to be like this okay so this is a this is a dash right see he, for example here if you think of inducer voltage inducer voltage this is going to be dot and this is going to be cross okay so from a side inducer voltage is going to be dot here inducer voltage is going to be cross here means that my inducer voltage is driving in this direction cross induced voltage is coming out like this such that this plus this is going to because this is driving in this direction this is also driving in the same direction so induced voltage here is going to be 2 ec if ec is the induced voltage per conductor now rather than like you know flux density so you see here it is under the middle of the n pole it is under the middle of s pole rather than here if i keep for example here a dash okay so if i keep here like you know for example electrically speaking of course mechanical also electrical degrees equal to mechanical degrees for a two pole machine so a to a dash if it is here okay how much is the angle middle of n pole to middle of s pole in the sense middle of positive maximum to middle of negative maximum is going to be 180 degrees now you are not keeping it 180 degrees but it is short pitched by epsilon okay or maybe let me think of four pole machine in four pole machine four pole should be there okay now in four pole machine for example if it is n yes n yes okay if i keep for example a here maybe under s pole positive maximum under n pole negative maximum a dash should be here and again under s pole s pole center if it is a under s pole center it should be again a it should be a dash okay electric mechanically speaking a a dash are displaced by 90 degrees but electrically speaking s maximum to n maximum okay so s maximum in this is positive maximum for example positive maximum to negative maximum positive maximum to negative maximum that is going to be positive maximum to negative maximum is going to be 180 degrees in electrical okay so if a a dash are displaced by 180 degrees electrical that is going to be full pitched coil full pitched coil rather than keeping a here for example if a is here a dash is here 90 degrees mechanically or 180 degrees electrically now if i keep this a dash not here for example if i keep a dash here a dash here okay so it is short pitched short pitched by what angle epsilon angle okay so because of short pitch what will happen let us see for example if i keep a a dash here if in a if it is positive maximum induced voltage a dash is going to be negative maximum so positive maximum plus negative maximum is going to be two times maximum but if i rather than keeping a here if i keep it here if i keep it here what is happening as of now it is a positive maximum but it is at negative maximum but it is at less than negative maximum because flux density here is maximum flux density here is less than maximum because the n pole is here center of the pole okay so if it is positive maximum it is less than negative maximum less than negative maximum so what about the net induced voltage here net induced voltage will not be two times maximum but net induced voltage will be reduced okay again as we discussed in uh, discussion of distribution factor like you know net induced voltage reduced normally what is pitch factor okay so this is going to be pitch factor 
पिच फैक्टर इज ए फैक्टर पिच फैक्टर इज ए फैक्टर बाई विच नेट इन यूज वोल्टेज रिड्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ शॉर्ट पिचिंग ऑफ द क्वाइंस ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर प्रीवियसली डिस्कस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर इज ए फैक्टर बाई विच नेट इन यूज वोल्टेज रिड्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द वाइंडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द वाइंडिंग ओके नाउ See means because of distribution of the winding, net in use voltage reduces because of uh, short pitching of the coils. Usage of short pitching of the coils or coding angle, like you know, because of that also my net in use voltage reduces. Okay, but technically speaking, from practical point of view, we should not say that yes, net in use voltage because of short pitching, uh, short pitched coils, and because of distribution of the winding, yes, net in use voltage reduces in order to produce rated terminal voltage of the nameplate detail. From the designer point of view, volume of copper requirement or number of turns it has to be increased. So, volume of copper requirement is going to be more means that we have to invest more money. ये कोई अंदर में शेन, but if you invest more money, why are you investing more money? You know how to improve the induced voltage to better sinusoid. Okay, how short pitched coils are reducing harmonics and all? Maybe we will discuss in the detailed machine session because problems cannot come from there. Okay, see pitch factor K P equal to cos epsilon by two. Remember this for fundamental. For fundamental, okay. Now for H harmonic compound, as we discussed previously in our previous session, also in distribution factor, if it is epsilon angle with respect to fundamental, with respect to third harmonic three times epsilon, with respect to fifth harmonic five times epsilon, so pitch factor for H harmonic compound is going to be cos H epsilon by two. Okay. Now there is uh, what do you say one greatest advantage of pitch factor pitch factor okay see here for example induced voltage net is going to be induced voltage net in going to be means total induced voltage without like you know short pitching or without distribution in the sense with full pitch coils and uh, with like you know slots per pole per phase is one only under that condition net induced voltage is e now because of short pitching of the coils and because of distribution of the winding that will be reduced induced voltage will be reduced by kp kd okay pitch factor and distribution factor now pitch factor and distribution factor will be decided by designer because once the machine is manufactured rolled out tested and it is in the hands of operating engineer operating engineer can he move the phase a conductor from here to here no can he change the what is a distribution of the winding no so it will be decided by the designer winding factor okay before uh, forming the winding only so winding factor kw equal to kp kd okay now let me think of distribution factor what distribution factor we got equal to means uh, sin q h gamma by 2 by q sin h gamma by 2 Okay, this is for H harmonic component. Is it possible to eliminate any H harmonic component? No. But if you think of pitch factor, pitch factor means if cos H epsilon by two can be zero, can be zero. Under that condition, what will happen? K P H is going to be zero. K P H is going to be zero. So that H harmonic induced voltage will be completely eliminated. Okay, from analysis point of view, also we can deal like you know how it is getting eliminated and all. That is like you know we will see in the detailed machine analysis. Okay, so for example, in order to eliminate H harmonic, to eliminate H harmonic component, okay, H harmonic induced voltage. in induced voltage because again if we see the our uh, phase like you know in what way we have came to here uh, like you know first thing is we tried our level best to reduce harmonics in operating flux but we were unable to meet the complete requirement so in operating flux some harmonics will be there even though you have harmonics in operating flux okay we can reduce harmonic component in induced voltages Okay, so in that one harmonic component of induced voltage can be completely eliminated by properly selecting epsilon. For example, in order to eliminate H harmonic component, K P H equal to cos H epsilon by two should be zero. 
okay means that h epsilon by 2 should be 90 degrees cos 90 equal to 0 means that epsilon equal to 180 divided by h okay so by this we will be able to eliminate if you can have this much epsilon short pitching angle means that h harmonic component in induced voltage can play can be completely eliminated okay now means immediately after this we will start with some induced voltage I'm not going to derive induced voltage equation because the same induced voltage what we derived in transformer the same we are going to use the same we are going to use and after that in problems I will tell you how to calculate number of series transfer phase etc etc okay